Spiders are amazing. We've learned this mainly from observation, from comparing webs, body shapes, and seeing the outrageous adaptations of spiders in action. Now, close reads of spider genomes are showing that we don't know the half of it. Looking back through time to see how spiders have evolved has been especially difficult. Fossil evidence has shown us early ancestors, but the speed of their evolution has confounded scientists. Starting in 2014, two different teams used genomics to compare hundreds of genes from 40 spiders. They found that some orb weavers, web-making spiders, are more genetically similar to webless spiders than the rest of the orb weaving group. This suggests that web weaving must have evolved twice or much earlier in a common ancestor. A later study comparing 3,400 active genes and 70 species indicated that webless, ground-dwelling spiders, such as jumping spiders, diversified much faster than the web weavers. The silk genes are where the true complexity of spider genomes comes into focus. All spiders can make silk, and they use it for many things – webs, trapping prey, egg casings, transport, and more. Silk genes have been difficult to characterize because they code for very large proteins with highly repetitive regions. But genome reads of silk glands are showing there are a lot more silk genes than previously thought. Take the golden orb weaver genome. It codes for 28 silk genes, and eight of them were unknown before. The genome of cobweb weaving spiders revealed a whopping 209 potential silk and glue components. These findings may help bioengineers harness silk's remarkable strength and flexibility to make artificial silk. Understanding spider venom has been daunting because it can involve a cocktail of up to 1,000 different chemicals and the mixture varies from one spider to the next. Scientists have made progress in characterizing black widow spider venom, but getting a genome sequence has proven difficult. Instead, they turn to the genome of its relative, the common house spider. 47 toxins, known as latrotoxins, were found in common house spider venom, even though these spiders aren't known to have painful bites. This venom cocktail is different than the Black Widow's, which includes a toxin called alpha latrotoxin that does attack vertebrate cells. This may have arisen so that Black Widow's could ensnare prey with backbones, like lizards. Curiously, the house spider's lactrotoxin genes match up best with a bacterial gene. So researchers think a microbe's gene somehow got transferred into the ancestor of both the house and black widow spider. These new spider venom findings will help scientists refine the search for new drugs and therapies. The complexity of the few spider genomes that have been sequenced indicate many challenges ahead. But as this data becomes available to scientists, the web of spider discoveries will continue to grow.